I would do pagination using link in C sharp. So let's have a look at this interesting example. So we have a list of people here. So we have the following list of people. And this is based off a class that just has ID and name, but it can be anything that you want. So here, what we want to do is uh, we want to have a page size of two. So just imagine we only want two elements to appear at any given time, depending on the page that the user is on. So what we'll do is I'll just run this code to see the output that we get so you can understand what is going on. And I'll explain the code. So here you've got page one and it's got Ali and Sarah. And then you've got page two, which has got John and Tom. You've got page three, which I've got Zara and James. So here you can see how the pages are working, page one, page two, page three. So what we're doing is we just want to loop through the pages. So we want to have a maximum of three pages and we want the page size to be two. Initial page number, of course, is one. And then each time we loop through, we just want to increase the page number by one. So when we are on page one, we just want to print the page number. So in the output that you saw, so you can see here that we print page one. And then afterward, we print who's in that page. So if we have a look, then what we do is using the skip method and the take method, which I have explained before in my other explanations. So what we're doing here is we're just getting the page number variable, which will be one for the first page. And then we just minus one off it and then multiply it by the page size. So for the very first page, it'll be page one, one minus one equals zero, zero multiplied by page size of two, it's zero. So it will skip zero records the very first time it runs. Then it will take the page size, which is two elements. So you saw here page size is two. So it will take the the first two records and print them out and that's what happens Ali and Sarah are printed then when we get to page two what it will do is this of course page number there will be two so two minus one so this would give you one and then multiply by the page size which is two because again page size is two there and two multiplied by one is going to be two and it's going to skip the first two records so we we'll skip Ali and Sarah and then using take method here which is page size of two so we only want two elements per page so here you can see John and Tom are printed and finally when we get to page three we get Zara and James this again is going to the same logic three minus one equals two two times two which is the page size again which would be four so it's going to skip the first four elements one two three four and then it's going to take the page size again which is two elements at a time so it's going to print Zara and James and what we do here is we just loop through and print the id and the name from the p variable here which is a temporary variable that actually then is the page data so remember the pagination is very good in link because your actual code to pull this out won't run until the for each loop is run so all these methods skip and take won't actually physically run until you actually execute the for each loop and that's doing it two elements at a time for us and going through this loop check out my other explanation where i can show you how you can jump between different pages so pagination is very easy to do using just two simple methods skip and take using the link query language in c sharp